another war has begun with these honorees because they see every opportunity they have to create troubles, either for Oni or themselves. They are the ones that know what is happening. They are the ones that know what is going on because there is no day, no time, no place they will make trouble with each other or even with Oni. There is no day at all. All of these Oloris need to be monitored fully. They need to be monitored fully. We can't leave them lying about like this. We can't. We should stop it. Let us tackle all of these things out of the palace. This is the next thing the Edilefe kingdom needs to tackle. All of these Oloris nuisance. They need to tackle every single one of it. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV where we bring you top tips from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. Olori Toby Phillips has gone to go and meet Olori Ashley, the ones that the gods chose for Oni, and has asked her a question. Saying that if at all the gods chose her for Oni, then why exactly does she have a child outside? Why is it that she did not give birth to Oni first? That she went to give birth to another, for another man outside of the palace? And she has been here shouting, eh, the gods showed me this, the gods did me that, this and this, this, oh, for what? Eh, all of these things is not needed, she does not know. Now they have caught up with her. She doesn't know how to explain herself. She doesn't know what she can do. She's already tired. She doesn't even know if Oni will be happy with what they have told her or not. She does not even know if she's going to call Oni or not. She's already confused. I heard, I heard one blow. I heard one blow. Because there is nothing at all. There is no single thing at all. Why will you come and be lying on the gods of the land's head? For what? Why will you say, eh... Is the gods that said you should be with Oni right from bed. That is okay. But why do you not have a child outside? That is the question that I ask you. And thank you, Olori Toby Phillips, for stating this fact out for us. Because she has been making noise. She has been trying to do all of these things to make all the other Oloris think they are not wanted. To make all of them think like as if they are not wanted inside of the Ileife Palace. That is how she's making it feel. But due to some people's great thinking, due to people's great thinking, I cannot see anybody, I can't see any single person at all coming in between Oni and Kwaomi or even anybody. They should just rest themselves. Yeah. Anywhere that they are at all, they should respect themselves. That is the only thing that can help them. That is the only thing that can help them. If at all they don't want to hear, they are trying, trying to claim stubborn. That is their own business. When the thing starts, especially this woman, especially uh, Olori, Olori Ashley, that she's always complaining, saying the gods chose her, so there's no way uh, Oni can send her out. Well, when all of these things start, that's when you know who the gods have chosen and who exactly the, um, um, Oni wants in his life. This is something you should think about very well. Think about it very well. Know what you can do to stop all of this menace from happening. And if you still feel like, yes, this is the perfect time to strike. It is okay. It is fine. But if at all you have to do it, do it very well. Let everybody know what exactly is going on. Don't hide around the bush. Don't beat around the bush. Let us know what is going on. So if it's something we can help you to, we'll help you. You know we are very wonderful people. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to drop your comments down at the comment section. Goodbye y'all and peace out.